This is the Onion News Network, a 24-hour non-stop news assault. with Shelby Cross is one of our top programs here on the Onion News Network. Well, yesterday, Shelby warned us about Al-Qaeda's latest plot to populate America with patriotic, peaceful decoy Muslims in order to get us to lower our guard. To explain more about this looming threat, former prosecutor Shelby joins us right now. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Shelby. Now, you have been telling your viewers that Al-Qaeda actually has more than 5 million decoy Muslims in our country to soften us up for their next attack. Yes, an attack they will if we don't do something. Listen, these these friendly decoy Muslims are virtually everywhere, mm -hmm. walking among us, making people think, hey, Muslims, they're just like you and me. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason. It wouldn't be fair for the police to stop and question every Muslim that's out in public the mm -hmm. way Shelby Cross is suggesting, because ooh, that would just be racist. Yeah, well, that, that doubt is exactly what Al-Qaeda is counting on. So, so, Shelby, what can we do? Well, if you see a Muslim, I say just walk straight up to them and under your breath just say, I'm on to you. Oh. Hey, I don't care if it's a man, a woman, or an adorable little brown baby jihadist in a stroller. Oh, okay. But Shelby, you have also made it clear to your viewers that these deco Muslims can be so sneaky yeah. that sometimes you can't even tell they're Muslim. Oh, yeah, no. As they'll, 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 they'll hide as Mexicans, oh. as Puerto Ricans, <sighs> as, uh, as Vietnamese. I mean, mm -hmm. there's absolutely mm -hmm. nothing that would let you know that they were, in fact, secretly Muslim. Now, if, if a Guatemalan or a Mexican ever comes up to me, I just cuff them. I pat them down, and then I look right in the eyes and I say, hey, where are you hiding your Koran, Ahmed? So, so you have to be yeah. on your guard at all times. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But listen, don't get too close to them. They're extremely dangerous in that they are very, very friendly. Mm -hmm. Very easy to become friends with them. <laughs> and next thing you know, hey, you could become a, a, a walking decoy Muslim. Okay, Shelby, we don't want that. So, so what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, if you really suspect that you are in the presence of, of a decoy Muslim, yeah. the only sure thing you could do is actually shoot them. Now, if they start crying out in Arabic as yeah. they die, yeah. uh, right. you will know that that person is in fact a Muslim, and you were right. You saved yourself the uh, unfortunate end of being blown up. Mm -hmm. If they don't cry out that way, they're not a Muslim, and you can go ahead and trust them. Okay, but they'd be dead, Shelby. Yeah, but a, a dead man is the only man you can trust. You know that. Rule yeah. number one. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Shelby. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. And I agree with you. Tonight on Concurrence Roundtable. You are absolutely correct. I couldn't have said it better myself. Have I told you how vibrant you're looking lately? Excuse me, can I finish before someone says something absolutely brilliant? The sparks fly as three experts agree entirely on solutions to the recent violence in Afghanistan. No one could even argue with that. Your logic is flawless. My logic was based on a point you made earlier. I have nothing to add to what you're saying, and I agree completely. How can someone so handsome also make such cogent remarks? Concurrence Roundtable, tonight at 11 on The Onion News Network.